Hi guys, today I'm here to do my favorite nail polishes for the summer. I usually change my nail polish about twice a week, so I do buy nail polishes a lot. I, um, every time I'm in the store, I'm looking the nail polish section and seem to find at least one polish that I like. So even though these are my favorites now, who knows what it's going to be in two months. So on my nails, you will see that I have polished all of the colors on here. And please bear with my sloppy polishing. I had I dropped a bottle of polish right after I polished them. And I had to clean it up, and so I messed up a couple of my nails. But I'm not actually going to wear this out, so I just left it. So hopefully it doesn't look too terrible for you all. I just wanted you to see a picture picture of my uh, of the colors on my actual nails against my skin tone so if you're a similar skin tone to me um, you might discover a new color that you like okay let's get started so the first polish is this one it is called Lively Lilac and it's by Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And this is how it looks on my nail. Hopefully the color is coming out good. It kind of looks like it might be coming out slightly darker. Let's see. But it is a, a lilac color. It's not too pastel. It's kind of a mid-tone purple. It goes on very smoothly and because it's the Insta Dry by Sally Hansen, it dries really quick. So I like to use this one when I'm in a rush. Um, I still get a nice looking nail polish, um, but I can do it and then walk out the door pretty much. Okay, so on the next nail, I have a very popular one here on YouTube. It is For Audrey by China Glaze. And that is on this nail. And I um, actually just stumbled across this polish one day in Ulta. I had no idea um, that it was really, really hyped up on YouTube until after I got the polish. And then I, I Googled it and, and saw so many people loving the polish. So I do really enjoy this one. I usually wear it on my toes. Um, but sometimes I wear it on my nails too. just kind of depends on what I'm doing. I also have a dupe for that. Um, it's by Wet n Wild Mega Last. And I didn't put that one on my nails because it's pretty much the same as the uh, China Glaze. Um, but this one is in the, club, the color I Need a Refreshment. And this one only costs like either $1.99 or $2.99. And it's pretty much the same color. So, you know, the China Glaze one is between $7 and $8. Wet n Wild one is $1.99 or $2.99. So, you know, you might not need to spend your money on the China Glaze. All right, the next one that I have on is the infamous Pink Friday by OPI. It came out with the Nicki Minaj collection. Um, I ended up, this was limited edition, so you might not be able to find it in the stores, but I um, ordered it online from Avu. It's A-V-E-Y-O-U.com. Um, and I had no problem getting it. Uh, and that was after it had sold out in stores. So I love this one. It's just a really milky uh, baby Barbie doll pink color, uh, which I thought might be a little bit too plain, but once you put it on, it really kind of stands out, especially against tanner or darker skin tone. So I love it. But it's also good for any skin tone. The next one that I have is one by Essie. It's called Brooch the Subject. And that's what it looks like. It's called Brooch the Subject. And here it is on this nail. And it's kind of just a darker uh, nude color. I like it because it's not too nude. It's kind of like the perfect nude for my skin tone. See that? So it's kind of more on the brown side instead of the pink side nude. The next one that I have is another popular color. It's by Revlon. It's called Minted. It's on the top there. And this is just a classic mint color. So there it is on my nail. I can't tell if you can see it, but it's really just like a, 
a pastel green color um, very light but you can still see the mint color and I like this one kind of requires it can require about two to three coats to make it opaque that would be the only downside of it but it's only like five dollars and it's such a nice color that I don't mind all right the next one is actually the one that I broke <laughs> it's on this nail and this is another wet and wild color it was called Club Havana um, it's, it's this, in the same type of bottle as this one um, it's pretty much just a true tangerine orange I do love this color the only complaint that I have about the wet and wild polishes are that the bottles are so freaking cheap this is like the third wet and wild bottle that I've broken out of the same ones I mean uh, it is only $2.99 so I really can't complain too much um, but it's really irritating because I have all hardwood or tile floors and as soon as one drops it doesn't roll it just immediately breaks <laughs> okay so the next one that I have is another Essie polish and this is a crude interest and this one came out earlier this year probably early spring it's that color there this is a very light uh, peachy nude color um, something that you can wear on a daily basis if you work in uh, the corporate setting it's perfect um, so that's something I really do like about it doesn't compete with your clothes uh, and it's just a year-round color really the next one that I have is by Sally Hansen it's hard as nails and the color is in Mighty Mango and that would be this one here so I do really enjoy this. It's a coral, um, kind of leaning more on the pink side, but definitely a true coral. Uh, and it's bright, but not too bright that you feel like you're walking around with highlighters on your fingernails. <laughs> uh, every time I get this, I, every time I wear this, I get tons of compliments. And this is only like $3 bottle of polish, so I love it. Next one is another china glaze and the color is peachy keen and that's the color and I do think this is an older color but I just got it a couple months ago and I am totally in love with it I mean I just got it probably earlier this month and I've already worn it three times so needless to say I love it it's a a true peach color slightly pastel um, but it's really opaque. The only downside of it is that it takes, uh, it goes on kind of streaky. You can work, if you don't mind working with it, it's a wonderful polish to get, but it does go on slightly streaky. But for me, uh, that's okay because I love it so much. After Once you put on the second coat, it kind of clears out some of the streaks anyway. And you might need to do three coats, but for me, I usually do two and I love it. And then the last one is in the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails um, Extreme Wear Collection. And the color is Coral Reef. And this one is quite popular as well. It's another true coral. It's very similar to the Mighty Mango. Um, let's see. But this is the Coral Reef. This is the Mighty Mango. The Coral Reef just looks uh, slightly more slightly more uh, red but again it is a true coral really easy polish to use Tyson be quiet okay sorry about that guys my um I'm sitting in front of a window and my next door neighbor is mowing the yard and my dog can't stand it Tyson Okay, but anyway, it's a really easy polish to use. Um, definitely worth the like $2.99 I paid for it. So that is my top 10 uh, nail polishes of the summer. There they are again. I'm going to um, insert some pictures at the end so you can see them a little bit better. Um, but I hope you all like them. Maybe you have some new polishes. Um, from this video maybe you've discovered some new polishes that you can try and feel free to leave in the comments any polishes that you think I would like based on these alright thanks for watching bye bye